Hello everybody, my name is Zuna coming from Essence to Zen, bringing you another episode of the GNU Octave Tutorial. Now in the previous video, we covered the basics of the graphical user interface, which is the GUI or just the user interface. And we stated that in the next video, we were gonna go over the variables and basic use of things like loops for for loops, while loops and more. Well, I lied. Instead, I'm going to bring you what I'm going to call episode 1.5, in which I'm going to discuss the basic differences of MATLAB and GNU Octave in terms of the syntax and semantics. So you can go ahead and learn now what to avoid and what to keep in mind if you plan on running or using Octave to turn in or utilize code for MATLAB later on. So first up is one thing that I kind of wish MATLAB would also uh, accept and this is one of my biggest pet peeves ever. So with Octave, I can do something with strings such as disp, double quotation marks, hello, and close quotation marks and parentheses and it gets hello back. In MATLAB, that would not cut it. MATLAB requires the use of single quotation marks. Now in Octave, single quotation marks also works just fine. But if you're gonna be using MATLAB or sharing files with someone who uses MATLAB instead of Octave, then you're gonna want to conform yourself to the MATLAB standards of their syntax and semantics and utilize a single quotation mark. Another is comments. So like blah, 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 blah. I can use the pound symbol. Yes, it's called the pound symbol, not the hashtag symbol. Hashtag is super modern. If you only know this as a hashtag symbol, you probably was born in the late 90s or after 2000. But pound. But you can also use the percent sign or as what I've come to know know it as is the the modulo. But Percent sign is also a comment. However, in MATLAB, this is not the case, and MATLAB only uses the percent sign. So again, if you're going to be doing any type of back and forth between a file to Octave and MATLAB, you're gonna wanna conform yourself to utilize the MATLAB standard, which is the percent sign. Another one of my favorite things that is found in most languages, but not MATLAB, is that of increments. So with some languages, I can do something like x equals 10. And then I can do x plus plus to increment it by one unit, which should make it 11. So now x is 11. However, in MATLAB, plus plus does not work. In MATLAB, you have to use the good old fashioned basic syntax. If I do x equals 10, and I want to increment it by one, then I have to do x equals x plus one. So again, conform yourself to the MATLAB standard if you're gonna use MATLAB to basically state that x equals x plus one and not x plus plus, as that is only available in Octave in terms of the Octave to MATLAB comparison. The same can be said when it comes to the exponential syntax. In Octave, I can basically use x caret two, and now it basically squares it, or I can do x, let's, let's make x equal 11 again, or I can do x asterisk asterisk, oops, sorry, asterisk asterisk two, and I get the same output. Well, in MATLAB, there's no use of that good old fashioned carrot and you're basically forced to utilize the asterisk asterisk uh, setup notation. But wait, there's more in terms of the things that Octave can do or has that MATLAB cannot or does not have and that is basically cleaner end tables. So with Certain things like functions, I can create a function and then x equals my function, uh, no input, and bada bing, bada boom, let's do a tab and let's set x equals to zero. Uh, and let's say I want it to end this function now. Now, 
via MATLAB or Octave, I can just type end. And that would work. That would work. I can also leave a function without the end because a function doesn't have to have a end to it, especially if it's going to be in a file by itself. I personally recommend having end at the end of a function simply for organization. However, in Octave, I can do in function. MATLAB does not have in function. All they have is end. Now, within this function, I can create a for loop. Uh, let's just say for i equals one to 10, uh, display uh, using that MATLAB standard. Uh, hello. Um, let's say I want to end the for loop. Uh, again, I can just type end, and this will work for MATLAB, but in Octave, I can also do end for to end that for loop. This helps, in my opinion, with organization, readability, and keeping things nice and neat. Whereas with MATLAB, they just want everything to have end, which isn't bad, because it is, it's very similar to that of, you know, what you all know about the curly braces, uh, which do not do in MATLAB, that's that's not there. But if you use things like Java or C++ or etc., then the curly brackets for code blocks uh, basically derives from that same instance type of thing. The same can be said for an if, uh, some kind of condition, uh, then do so-and-so, uh, and then end if type of thing. So essentially, Octave has end type, as in end if, or end for, or end function, or end while, or end try, etc. whereas MATLAB only has end. So that essentially wraps it up for the main syntax and semantic differences for Octave in comparison with MATLAB. And I really hope you guys watch this and pay attention if you plan on using Octave to create code or scripts or functions for MATLAB and you send that file over to someone who does use MATLAB because potentially they can run into errors if you have Octave only syntax. Remember that. Try to conform your code in Octave to be that of the MATLAB standards of syntax and semantics to ensure that cross compatibility between the programs and languages stay neat and functioning. Now in the next video, we're going to go over variables, while loops, for loops, uh, if statements, and etc. So I'll see you all in the next video, but until then, as always. Take care.